You're awake. Go back to sleep. Huh? You can hear me. Does that mean you can see me too? No, 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 please. Don't scream. Please. The sound hurts my ears. I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. I didn't mean to startle you. I... I just like watching you sleep sometimes. It's peaceful for me. Watching your chest gently rise and fall. The calm. The peace. I talk to you. I hum and sing to you. I tell you all the things I wouldn't tell anyone else. Even when I was alive. Oh. I know that sounds strange, but it gets awfully lonely sometimes. Not having a friend, a companion. I like having you live here though. I'm less lonely when you're around. You're quiet, calm. <laughs> Previous occupants were very loud. They argued a lot. I had to hide in the cupboard to try and block it out. It was so loud. So scary. Once, they threw something and it went right through me. It didn't feel very nice. It hurt, and it made me feel so angry. I wanted to scream and shout right back at them, but what use would that have done? But when they left, and you moved in, I was nervous. I thought that all people were like them. But you... You showed me that's not the case. You were different. I was so happy. It was quiet. Calm. I looked forward to you coming home. I'm so sorry. I'm talking about myself so much. I just haven't had anyone hear me in nearly a century. And you have a sense of calm, quietness around you. Normally. Today doesn't feel the same. No. I sense a sadness within you. You're not your usual self. Has something happened to you? Your eyes look red. Have you been crying? Don't worry. I won't judge you. I just want to help you. I'll always listen to you. I'll always be there for you. Even if you can't always see me. I promise. You can tell me. Please. I want to help you. Oh. Mm. I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Really awful. I understand why you want to hide under the covers. That would make anyone feel defeated. You don't deserve that. No, you don't. You're a 
good person. You are a kind, caring person. Do you want to know how I know? Well, a ghost has appeared in your room. Then you aren't even shouting or freaking out about me. And you're certainly not throwing anything at me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for not shouting at me. I'd never want to scare you. After all, you've given me so much without knowing. I know I can't comfort you with touch. But I can comfort you with words. And knowing that I'm there. Uh-huh. And I mean them. Every single word I say. I mean, from the bottom of my heart. Even though I'm a ghost, I still feel emotions. I still love. I still care. And you should never feel sad. You have such a gentle and kind soul. I can feel it. It's peaceful. It's calming. Even I feel relaxed around you. Just being around you makes me happy. I mean it. I promise. You have a light that just makes the whole world brighter. You're special. Even though you may not feel it right now. I'm sure the people you meet feel the same, even if they don't tell you as much as they should. I'd tell you every single day if I could, just how amazing you are, how special you are. It's okay if you don't feel like talking to me, I understand, you've had a long day. Then you must be pretty tired. I can just sit here with you if you'd like. Just be with you. Because I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. <laughs> I'm kind of bound to this house. I can't go anywhere. But still. Even if I wasn't, I'd want to stay here, with you. I know it's awfully one-sided, and that you don't know me, but I think of you as a friend already. I know it's silly. I've just watched you a lot. I just never thought you'd be able to hear me. I've wished for so long that we could talk. That you could finally hear me after I've watched you for so long. I'm so glad you can today. When you needed it the most. Try and get some rest. I don't know how long this link is going to be open. It feels like it's getting weaker. Just don't forget. I'm watching over you. I'm looking out for you. I'm always going to be 